In this web development lesson, we will demonstrate how to make things magically appear when the user hovers their mouse over certain elements on your web page. We're going to use pure CSS, so this will work even if the user has JavaScript turned off in their browser software. Before we dabble in the simple code, I would like to demonstrate certain instances where knowing how to do such a thing would be useful for web developers who are creating awesome software that runs online. Many times when I offer a lesson, people make comments to me like, where would I use this sort of code, Adam? How would this be handy to me? So let me make it crystal clear to you all by showing real-world examples of where you would apply such a thing. I would like you to log into your Facebook account and go to your profile. Hover your mouse over your profile picture, and you will see that a button, or a link, whatever you want to call it, a button that says Edit Profile Picture, magically appears and it appears when I put my mouse over that item. And this could be whatever information you want. It can be a picture, it could be text in a box, whatever. Now I'd also like you to log into your Google Plus account and hover your mouse over your profile picture. And you can see that a button appears at the bottom over that picture. Okay, so that's what you're going to be learning how to do. And even at webintersect.com, which is part of the social network building tutorial series that we're in the middle of right now, if you go to your profile and you're logged in, you hover your mouse over your profile picture, I make a button appear right in the middle, off to the side a little bit, that will let people edit their profile picture right when I put that programming into place. And here's the actual code example. Let me output that so you can see just exactly what you'll be learning how to do before you even dabble in the code. So when I put my mouse over this item, you see a button appears. And it's very simple code. Okay, we're going to start with the bare bones of an HTML5 web document. And you can see I have my style tag in place with my CSS. And in the body element, I only have one div. And its ID is box1. Inside of box1, I have a simple link that's going to serve as my example button for this tutorial and also in that box is the picture and that is the avatar that you see here my avatar and when I hover over that I use CSS to make that link appear any place that I wanted to okay so you see the structure of the HTML and you know it's very very simple so let's open up the CSS and explain that very quickly first thing we do is we'll target the div with an ID of box 1 and we'll give it a border that's a gray border two pixels solid we'll make sure the width of that box is 200 pixels and the height is 200 pixels and the margin space around it could be whatever kind of margin space you want I can actually remove that and everything will work exactly the same you see I just had margin space in there for you as an example if you wanted that to have any space around it or whatever then the next line of CSS is we're going to target the image tag that's inside of box one you can see that would be this image tag right here. We're going to give it a position of absolute. That way when that button does appear our image doesn't move around anywhere. It's absolutely positioned. That means it won't move. And we give it a Z index of 2000. And We just want to make sure the Z index is less on the image than it is on your button. You can see the button has a Z index of 3000. The image has a Z index of 2000. Then you can just make your picture be a width of 200 pixels and a maximum height of 200 pixels. Then the next bit of CSS is to target the little link button or the little link that I have inside of box 1. That's the little magic item that appears when I hover my mouse over box 1. And I get that little element, whatever element you want it to be. It can be a button, it can be an A, it can be a div, whatever you want. That magically appear when you hover your mouse over box 1 by simply adding this line of CSS. You target the div with an ID of box 1, you give it the pseudo selector of hover, and then the next thing you put in is the element that you want to affect when box 1 is hovered over. And you don't have to be making it appear and disappear. You could make it twice the size it normally is by default. Anything you want to do in CSS to that box can be done here. I just happen to be making it appear and disappear. So when the user hovers over box 1, I make A display block. So basically that makes it appear. And you can see by default it has a display of none. So here's all of its default properties. And here the properties that it gets when the user hovers their mouse over 
div1. And you can make a link look just like a button if you want. I made it have a border radius of 3 pixels, and that's what gives us this nice rounded looking button thing. And when the user's mouse goes over the button, you can see it turns into the little hand symbol there. And if you wanted to have this have the hand symbol, div1, all you'd have to do is add some CSS to that right here. You say cursor, pointer. And then when you hover your mouse over it now, you'll have the pointer over that as well and over the button. But you might not want that functionality or you might just have a link on that by default. So you wouldn't need that. So you can see how using pure CSS to make things magically appear on the page anywhere you want them to when the user hovers their mouse over something else. So I hope you have found this tutorial useful and I'll see you in the next lesson.